Hello, it's Sheila with Creative Aging. Today we are going to learn how to emboss, which is usually a form of card making, um, but we're gonna use it on some watercolor paintings. And since we've done so many different watercolor projects, I figured we're just gonna use projects we've already done, and then that way I can just show you step-by-step step how to do this embossing technique. Um, as you can see right here, the lines are lifted and they're a silver. They almost look like metal and it's water resistant. So it's great to do before you paint or after you paint. And so this is just one example and it turns a really simple drawing into something pretty cool. Um, here's another one. This is gold, I'm trying to shimmer it in the sunlight so you can really see its effect. But water, I mean, embossing is, is so much fun and it's actually really easy to do and not a lot of people have experienced it. So this drawing is very simple, but with the embossing, it makes it look a little more complex. And so what you need for embossing are embossing pens. And these are just, uh, I like this brand best. I've tried quite a few. Um, you can get these, I know at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or if you look online, but it's called Emboss It Pens and it comes in a black and a clear one. So you need your embossing pens, then you need embossing powder. And no, this is not glitter. It looks like glitter, it is not glitter. Um, so you can, you can you really find any brand for the embossing powder and they have a lot of different colors and it's always gonna be in the card making section in a craft store. And so I've got a gold and a silver, and these are just very, these are very shimmery. So you can also get any color black or gold or white, I mean, um, or white or really anything, but I do like these because they look like metals. So I'm gonna have both of those. And, um, and then you of course need a heat gun, not a hairdryer. You have to have a heat gun. And so you're gonna use a heat gun on a low setting. So be very careful because this will burn your hand. You do not wanna, you know, heat your hand. So um, it's, you know, it's not, it's not too hard. We're gonna be pretty far away and we're just gonna go over the top. And so I'm going to, oh, and, and also you need a couple pieces of scrap paper um, because when we emboss, I want it to fall on the piece of paper because we're going to recycle it back in our little canister, whatever's not used. All right, so let's get started. And I'm going to show you the difference between the black and the clear pen. A lot of times I prefer the clear pen because you can't see it at all. Um, but it is harder to draw with it. So I'm going to probably show you first with the, the black pen. And we've done some different projects and I'm gonna show you embossing on each one of these projects. So we've done some cityscapes and I'm gonna do a few lines and emboss a few of these lines just to, just to make it a little bit better. And then we'll do a flower. Okay, and um, if we have time, we might even emboss one of these butterflies. Okay, and so I'm gonna just take my painting and actually, I'm gonna do the flowers first, just cause that's easier to outline. And so we did this project a while back. This was just kind of monochromatic flowers, a really, um, a watercolor wash where we used more water. And so after you draw your simple image and then you paint with watercolor, you can take your embossing pen and figure out which lines you want to turn silver or gold. And you don't want really all the lines to be silver or gold. So I'm just gonna choose some of them. And I'll start with this. I'll start with this one right here. So I'm gonna go around some of the edges and be slow because whatever mark that you made, this embossing powder is gonna stick to it and there's just no coming back from it. So you're gonna have to emboss it. Okay, and also be careful because this stays 
wet and that's how the powder is gonna stick to it and then when we heat it, it melts. You do not want your hand to rub on it because your hand's gonna have oils and you might have put lotion on today and that will rub this embossing pen off and then you're gonna have to do this process twice. So be very careful to not touch it. And so I turn my paper quite a bit and I know in our classes, we do a lot of embossing, but we usually do the heat gun and we do this process for you. So I just wanted to really give you a better idea of how we do it and what we're mindful of. Cause I know we do it so fast. You probably don't realize that we're, we're really thinking about a lot of different things. So you do have to be careful, especially if you want it to look good. And don't press too hard with these pins. It will damage, it will damage the ends of them. So you don't have to press hard. It's not gonna make it any difference. So please don't run the pins. These supplies are not the cheapest. These pins are about $5.99 for two. And then I think these are about the same thing. So you wanna take care of these good supplies. Um, so now I need to decide if I wanna do any of these lines in there. I could even fill in the entire center and emboss it. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave it and I'll just do all the edges. Cause I wanna get to the cityscape and I'm gonna put a little more time into embossing some of the lines and some of the windows. And so I'll do this one just where it's just the outline. And it is best to probably turn the page just to be very careful because I know it's, you know, most people put their hands while they're painting and they put their hands on the page. So just be safe and turn the page and keep your hands away. And I'm not gonna do all of them. I think I'm just gonna do these three and then that way you can see a difference. And one good thing is if you get outside the lines like I just got, um, you can always paint on top of the embossing. So this isn't a final step. You can paint over this too. And so you don't, if you do make a mistake, it's, it's okay. And I'm gonna do a few lines in this one. Okay, so now figure out if you want silver or gold, and this is where you need your scrap paper. I have two pieces of scrap paper that I'm gonna put right underneath, and I want to just sprinkle this on top of wherever I am put my embossing pen. And I'm covering it all. And then I can shake it and move it around. So you want it to go over. So I've got this flower down here. I'm just gonna move it to where it goes on that flower. And this is where you need your pa papers, but underneath it, because we wanna catch any of the loose embossing powder so we can keep using it. And this will really la it'll make it last a long time. You wanna get the most out of your money for supplies, because our supplies are expensive, so you might as well make them last. Okay, so see, I'm going over it again, and I'm just shaking it. And make sure it gets on all of the lines. If you see any parts that need more, then move it. So I see a little part over there. I'm gonna move it this way. And I'm gonna dump it out on my paper. And if you see any other little black pieces, then you just kind of cover it again. I think that was it. I just saw one little piece that didn't have enough on it, so. 
And then I like to turn my page and kind of tap it with my finger to get the rest off because you don't want to rub your hand on it. But you want this powder because if there's a little loose piece of powder right here and I put the heat gun to it, it's going to melt and it's going to create a silver spot and it won't look good. So you do need to flick it, get the excess powders off, take your heat gun and put it on the low setting and just go over your powder. And I'm going to try to see, I'm going to try to show you up close. It takes a minute, but all of a sudden it's gonna heat up and it's gonna raise and it's gonna turn really shimmery and silver. So heat up all around. Make sure you can see the difference. I want you to look at it right now. You can see the difference when it's, when it starts looking metally, that's when it's done and you can move on. It starts to kind of raise, but you need to finish it, you know? Don't just halfway do it because it's not gonna be all shimmery and it's just gonna be still kind of powder. And don't do it on a high setting um, because you can burn the paper. So I like to just do it on a low setting and take my time because you don't want to yellow your paper and you don't want to have a hole. I've never, I don't think you're going to start a fire or anything, but you will kind of yellow your paper a little bit. And in a minute, I'm going to show you why I like the clear pen better. Because you can see the black a little bit, but it kind of makes it look like stained glass. And so, Sometimes you want that look to where it looks like a stained glass painting. But if you use the clear pen, you can't see anything under it. It just looks silver. And so keep moving it, it's kind of, you know, you don't want to just sit it in one spot, so I do move it around. And notice I am pretty close to my paper. And it's not, you know, you're not gonna get close to your hand. I don't think anyone's gonna put their hand right in front of this thing. But when you turn it on and off, just be very careful because the end, that metal part, it will burn your hand. So don't touch that ever. I've definitely done it before, but I don't recommend it. All right, let's see, let's look at it. Turn that off. Wonder if you guys could even hear me. <laughs> All right, so you can see, got shimmery, and that is embossing. So notice the difference. So this is the part of the painting that we didn't emboss, and it just adds a little bit of extra interest to your painting. People will be very impressed because nobody knows how to do embossing. Not many people have these materials at home, but it is really easy. So once you buy it, you can experiment and do a lot of fun things with it. So I want you to notice how you can see the black pen just a little bit in some places, which it doesn't look bad. It just kind of looks like stained glass art. There we go. Sorry, I was trying to catch the light so you can see it better. So see how some parts are really uh, metally looking and then some you can see the black a little bit. Okay. Let's clean this up and I'm going to move to the next picture. So now I want to bring it to one. I'm going to do the same thing, tap it. And then I'm going to put it all back into my little container. And I'm even going to put that underneath just in case I lose some of it while I do this process. So I fold it and just dump it back in there. Try to save as much as you can. And don't leave it on the table to get dirty because, you know, it won't work as well. Okay, so now we saved that. Let's move it aside. And this is a little messy, but it cleans up easily. But you're gonna have glitter everywhere. So 
so funny. I always have embossing powder in my car. So people get into my car and guys especially really love it because they always have glitter on their face after they get in my car. This stuff just <laughs> lingers. Let's do a cityscape and I'm going to, I'm going to switch to the clear pen just so you can see that difference. Now, this is a very simple cityscape. And um, let's see, I'm thinking. I'm not gonna do everything here, but I do wanna do a few outlines. I really wanna do this building because I think there's a lot of cool details. So I'm gonna for sure do that. Now the clear pen, it's harder to see where you did the lines, but you can see a little bit. I'm not sure. Okay, there, you can see it. Um, it's very faint. See, I just did a couple striped lines there. You can, it just looks, it's like a faint gray almost. It just looks like that part of your painting is wet. That's how you can tell if you went over your lines. But if you're, it's your first time doing this, just be very mindful, if, especially if you're doing a flower, it can be kind of hard to see and you, you might go over the same line twice, but that's okay. All right, and so I'm gonna go down here. And if there's certain lines you want to be thicker, then just do double lines. So I'm gonna do these windows, silver, or I might do gold, I'm not sure yet. So you can see, look, there's no windows down here, so I'll show you exactly how the clear pen looks. So you can still see it. It just creates kind of, it just looks like your paper is almost, the watercolor paint is wet. So not totally clear, it's just a little harder to see than the black pen. So that's all I'm doing to that building. And then maybe I'll do the outline to this one. And you know, less is more, you know, you can always emboss more lines, but you can't take it away. So you might wanna start small and just do a little bit, and then you can always add later. But you cannot take this away. So don't do, don't go crazy and do every single line unless you know for sure that's what you wanna do. And I'm gonna be honest, I've never embossed a cityscape before, so this is new for me. I don't even know how this is gonna look. I just thought it might be cool. And I like this shape right here, that triangle. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring that out. And maybe this point, but I'm not gonna cover up all the purple, so I want the purple to still be there. And let's do some of these dots for the windows. And you don't even have to do all of them. I mean, it could look like some of the windows are on or you could do all of them. It's totally up to you. And let's see, I think I'm gonna leave it at that and just, and just emboss it and see how it looks. I'm gonna do the gold this time so you can see it. And I'm gonna make sure to put my paper underneath to catch any of the loose embossing powder. All right, so same thing, sprinkle it. And this is kind of nice because I can sprinkle it and then just let it fall down. Um, so I can just move it down this way. So you should be able to see it sticking. So just move it. Make sure it sticks to anywhere that you put 
on the pin. And I'm gonna do it one more time, so I'm gonna go back the other way, so just to make sure if there's one little spot that didn't get the powder on it. Okay, tap that. So you can either tap it or you could flick it. Okay, so as you can see, I didn't do all of the buildings. I just did some to start and I'm gonna heat it up. Same thing, low. And just wait to see it lift and become really metallic. Actually, there's one little spot I did here, right there. Sometimes you'll miss a little spot. Okay, so there we go. See how pretty that looks? And then you can decide if you wanna add more. There's a building that looks too blank or if you think, you know, say you decide you want that whole triangle to be gold, which I don't think I want that actually. I said that and I don't think that would look that good. Then after you're done, just kind of look at it for a minute, decide if you want any more buildings. Like if you wanted this to be an outline, you could emboss that. Or if you like that to be kind of faded, like it's behind, you can leave it. You can definitely do some embossing in the water. It's kind of up to you. I love the windows. I actually really like how that turned out. So if you wanted to do more windows, like in this one, you could, and you can also do silver. So if you wanted to mix gold and silver, you can do that. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we're gonna add a little silver to that one. Same, same exact technique. So remember, take your spare paper, clean this up. Okay. All right, let's move it. I'm gonna do the same thing and use my clear. Figure out if you want some silver windows, maybe, maybe right here. Let's just do a straight line across for the windows on this one. I'm just gonna do a few lines. And then this building I can Maybe do an outline in silver. And then this building, let's do some silver. Let's do some silver squares. I know there's dots on this building, but I'm gonna do squares instead. I'm gonna do some big squares. And I already regret doing this, I'm not gonna lie. I uh, I should have drawn that better. I mean, I should have drawn it in because now I can't see exactly how my squares are gonna look. And this darker purple is harder to see. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the switch in the design over here. I should have stuck to what I already painted. And then let's do this one too. I'm gonna do an outline, silver. So one nice thing is if you get the embossing materials, you can, you, we've done so many paintings together, you can spruce up some of your paintings. I'm gonna do silver lines going the opposite way. Right here, I think that might be nice. I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna do some on this building too. I'm gonna do a silver triangle alongside the gold line. And I'm going to go on the outside of that because I like that triangle a lot and I want to bring it out. Okay, let's see how it looks. Got my silver and 
tap it, sprinkle it on. And notice I'm not dumping all of it on, I'm not dumping it all out. I'm kind of very mindful about just tapping little bits at a time. And then move it, do the same thing, go the other direction. Let it fall and hit, hopefully everywhere that you put your embossing pen for the silver. And I see a couple places right here that I want extra, that I just feel like it didn't stick enough. So you can always go back and tap it directly on a place that you think needs more. So I'm gonna look at it up close, see if there's any, oh, here, I want more right here. Okay. Okay, flick it, get the excess off. Let's see how this silver looks on top. Oh, well, missed one little spot. Let me do it again. I just feel like it wasn't quite done there. Sometimes you have to really turn your paper, kind of like how I'm doing to let you guys see it. You just have to turn it and make sure it's done. All right, so there's the silver and gold. Notice the more detail, how it can be really cool. So see right there where I did the silver and gold together? Right there. So I don't wanna do everything on the building because you don't wanna to totally take away from your painting, but just little things here and there can really make it interesting. So if you wanted to make this, you can use this as card making, of course. If you wanted to make this into a card and like, you know, you could write a message and write with words and emboss the words, or you can just make it an interesting painting and hang it. All right, so there's a cityscape. Let's do butterfly. Just so we did three things together and that way if you have pick paintings in mind, so say there's a painting you didn't love, maybe you can emboss it and love it more. You know, just keep working on it. Don't throw your stuff away. These paintings I worked on today, I didn't love, so I'm just, I'm just playing. It's good. So now I think I'm gonna use my black pen again because I already have black lines in this. And uh, I'm only gonna do one of these butterflies just to show you. I hope the lighting in here is okay. I turned my overheads off because there were so many shadows and I wanted the sunlight to catch the embossing, but I'm it's kind of gray all of a sudden outside, so it's a little dark. Um, I'll do this one and then I'll leave the purple Okay, so go over. I'm just gonna go in the outline. And I might do the whole body gold. So I'm just gonna do an outline and then I'm gonna do the whole body embossed. Which I think will look really awesome. So if you're doing the whole body, you can just color it all the way in. And remember, you know, start with less. You can always do the lines inside later, but I don't want you to do too much embossing to where you can't see the color you're painting. Okay, 
Sprinkle that on. All right, notice I, I, I poured the whole jar on that one. Make sure your paper is clean, with not with silver. So I just tap that off before I move it and dump it back out, okay? Just move it around. Carefully put it back on this paper so we can recycle it in the jar. And there's a lot of little sparkles, so some of it got on the paper. Try to get that off if you can. You can either use your finger if you're far enough away or just flick it a few times and it should come off. There's the butterfly embossed. So if you wanted, you could do some, some circles or some more design. That would look good, but that's gonna be totally your preference. But I really just wanted to show you step-by-step step how to do this technique, and then you can play with it and really make it your own and buy your own supplies and practice in your room. This is something really easy to do. And I love it because it just adds another layer to your watercolors. I mean, it totally looks different, right? I think it's so neat. I, I learned embossing not even that long ago. And I, I mean, I love it. It's so much fun. You can buy so many different colors with it and really expand your art. Um, all right, so you know how to do it now. I'm gonna be teaching a lot of classes in person soon and we will be back to doing embossing. Or if you wanted to go buy your own supplies, go do it. Just get a pen and figure out if you want a silver. You could start with just one or the other. Maybe get silver or gold and start small. Be a cheap little project. This will last you like a year, I swear, maybe two. It lasts me a year and I work with like 300 people a month. So um, we use this a lot. So it really does last if you take care of it and you recycle it back into the containers. Okay, look at the photos um, attached if you'd like. Have fun with this. I will see you next time. Bye.